As long as you worship me, nothing's going to happen to you. We could keep a lot of hounds from our doorstep if we learn to worship the Lord. Lift him up. He said, if I be lifted up, now, you know, you know what this scripture means when it says, if I be lifted up, I'll roll men under me. It means step into the resurrection. Step into the resurrection. Believe God for miracles. Believe God for new things to happen. Do you know those scud missiles were come? And it wasn't an easy thing to put on those masks and get in that room. Nobody ever got hurt. How many, now come on, how many of you would have been rejoicing? If the bombs and the muscles started hitting right now outside. Do you have enough faith to dance through it all? And we're going to believe God. God's trying to call Israel to the light, to the truth. Yes, he's trying to bring her to the revelation that Jesus Christ is in charge. Yes. So I want you, you know, there's people on television that are they're wondering about Bush and these former presidents is not coming to the aid of Israel. But God is trying to get her to call upon him. Yes. Trying to get him to call. Here is a, this girl right here is an Iranian. Turn around and look at her. She's a spirit-filled Iranian right here. She knows God. She knows what she's talking about. She loves Israel too. But you've got to be willing. Be willing to release your faith and trust God. And that's what the Lord told me. Every time I've been in trouble, he said, dance for me. I'll bring you out of the trouble. Dance for me. I'll bring you out of the trouble. Show that he's in charge. The Lord's in charge. Lift him up today. Now listen, I have bad days. I'm not telling you I'm high on the mountain all the time. I'm not. I have days like, why did this happen? Why did that happen? But you can't talk like that to God. Did you know that? you got to say, I trust you, Lord. I believe you, Lord. You're going to bring us through this thing. How many women went to the factories and worked in the last war? I remember that as a child. They went into the airline factory, plane factories, and worked. Women could, you couldn't buy any bubble gum. That's all I can remember. They were using it for the, for the pair of shoes. Yeah, the rubber and everything. You couldn't get coffee. You couldn't get green. You couldn't get gas. But God brought us through it. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to really rejoice like you mean it, that God is going to bring deliverance to Israel today. Come on, you dance like God's going to do something. Give me that desert job. How about the desert job?
rain on it. It's just like God is watering the desert in Israel when I hear it. The floodgates open. There's a greater anointing when you sing in those minors. How many of you realize there's a rhythm that comes down in the room? There's a rhythm that God is moving on her behalf. Working for her behalf. Yes. Yes. I'm watching some of you as you were rejoicing. I can see those rhythms all in on your face and in your movements. That miracles was working out for Israel. Yes. You've got to believe that whatever you give to the Lord, That's He's right. using it. That's As right. ammunition. Come on, He's yes. using it. Yes. Your voice is your yes. weapon today. Yes. Come on, your voice is your weapon. Yes. Yes. Oh, he said he wasn't concerned how loud we were. He was concerned when he didn't hear us. Come on. Break. Yes, break those powers of darkness and be over a country. Break those powers of darkness and be over a city. Break. Charlene, when you were worshiping the Lord on that tambourine, it was like you were in the Lord's hand. You were in the Lord's hand, and He was playing you as the tambourine. It was, I'm talking about worshiping the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Amen. The Bible says we won't see the Lord unless we worship Him in that realm. Did you know that? we got to come into His holiness. When He says seek His face, He's talking about seeking His holiness. He's holy. Glory to God. Seek Him. Seek who He is. That you want to be more like him. You want to know him more. You want to understand his ways. Praise God. Now see, Praise we've been working out many, many situations for you, Charlene. I just, I saw he, like, he had an iron in his hand and he was ironing. You know, the iron gets the wrinkles out. But you don't know what he, you know, what he, I've had him, listen, I've seen him putting an iron on me, so don't feel bad. I don't even want to tell you all the things I've seen coming after me. But they were the things of the Lord. It was the ways of the Lord. Right. It was the workings of the Lord. It was the dealings of the Lord. Are you understand? Amen. So when you get in, in that worship, Sister Ruth said, you don't care. If he has to correct you when you're worshiping, you don't even feel it. You don't see it. Because you're in his holy presence. And in his presence is fullness of joy. Oh, thank you. I felt, I felt just two or three places there. God was pouring out help to Israel. Amen. If he told Sister Ruth, as long as she stayed in Israel, there'd never be a war, then your praise has got to mean something to God. Right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. But yeah. you just play that a little more. That, I call it the desert song. Oh, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Sing me a song. And then her trumpets blow. Oh, hear the sound of the angels. Sing, sing, sing. Praise you, Lord. Glory. 
glory to God. Oh, there's a river. Oh, there's a river. There's a river today. It's flowing from the throne of God into the nations of the world. And to those that are needy, there's a river flowing. There's a river. Two days ago. 
you're watching, Caroline, you know I'm telling the truth. He said, you're looking for this. It was like an angel. You're look, I know you're looking for this. He said, I've had it in my truck for two years. And I've started to throw it away, but I didn't. He said, because you need it. And I bring it to you today. He didn't know who the plumber was. It's a small town. Hallelujah. But just before that, somebody had called her up. I'm sort of looking into this story. And we got a lady that needs some money to get an apartment, but we don't have enough money. Would you like to give some? She said, sure, come on by. She wrote a check for $200. And the lady said, no, I don't need 200 I just need 75 She said, no, she might need something else. Just take it. She said, no, $75 is all I want. I don't know the whole story, but I feel like the cost of the whole plumbing job was $75. You see how God, listen, he's got a river. He's bringing revelation and listen, revelation, knowledge of how he works. And I'm encouraging you to look for it, expect it, believe for it. Somebody walked into my house, walked into this prayer room two months ago, and they started talking to me. I thought, what was she saying? I knew she was saying, but I couldn't break it together. I said, what did you say? She says, you need new flooring to your house, and I'm coming over to fix it. I thought, honey, you don't know how bad I need the flooring. And she keeps talking. Well, we're not talking about a little bit of money here. We're talking about $3,000. And I said, I thought, how does she know my floors need fixing? Did I say anything about it while I was in prayer? And sure enough, she shows up on Saturday with her husband. And they're, they're measuring my floors. And I'm thinking, how in the world am I going to pay for this? And they keep measuring. Well, we had a whole lot of things. We had a front door that didn't fix it. We'd fix it, and then all of a sudden we couldn't be, I mean, you had to lift it up to close it and push it this way to close it. He said, oh, I know how to fix that. And right there in five minutes, he takes the door off. Honey, it just takes my little finger to close the door now. I don't even think it's closed. That's how it closes. I don't know what he did to it, but I just take my finger and it shuts. Amen. And my floors are fixed. Hallelujah. All the way through my house. I've been dancing around. I couldn't believe it. How did this happen? Because somebody starts talking to me, and I thought, what is she saying? You see, that's what will happen when the angels start talking. When the Lord starts talking, get your mind real straight, on focus. But I had been saying to the Lord, I need some force, but I don't know what I need. You can't put tile here. Do I want an anointing? Or do I want new tile? What do I want? I mean, they weren't that bad, but I'd had them a while. They were ugly. I wanted something different. Hallelujah. 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 Did you say he owned all the cattle on a thousand hills? Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. Before I know it, he's sitting in my, I get a call. We got, we got all this flooring. I thought, where are we going to put it? We're talking about a thousand pounds. I said, put it in my living room. We put it in the living room. Well, you know, I've already got stuff piled everywhere. And I'm thinking, you understand? Yeah. God gets things all messed up when he's trying to help you. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember, sister, I said, I said to her, come on, we got this, uh, it's, it, this is heavy. So we moved a few stacks down this way. You didn't know that. And whoever is listening in this room that knows about it. <laughs> so we moved a few stacks so all the stacks were even. I said, the four won't cave in. I mean, I was concerned about too much. But they came in one day, one day. Listen, one day, one day is like a thousand years. Come on, in the courts of the Lord. And they're so pretty. I can walk barefoot into them. I can use a dust mop. Come on, are you listening? I mean, things are so much easier. Glory to God. But when she told me that story, about that man had been carrying that little mop around for two years in his truck. And he wanted to throw her away, but he couldn't. God had him to come down that road, park there, and led by the, he must have been an angel. 
The man comes walking out to get in his truck. And the other man says, I believe you're looking for this. Are you looking for it? Come on, are you looking for it? Are you looking for it? You don't care what size it comes in? Or how it comes? Come on. I'm encouraging you today. Come on. It doesn't matter. Forget about that. COVID, whatever it is. Hallelujah. 19. I'm more than 19. Come on. I've had a few years experience. Come on. Come on. He never fails. When she told me that story, the man said, you, she, was, she said, let's, get, let's just pay for a whole, you know, the whole works. It was $208. I asked her if I could tell the story. Honey, these are the supernatural things that God must be working on. Right? Yes. The supernatural. Yes. How many are listening? Yes. Yeah. And you're going to be odd. You're going to be different. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be one of those people that are not so sure if they like you. Yeah. Come on. But they need your help. That's Come right. on. Yeah. Come on. They don't know what it is. What is it? What is it? Yeah. Did you know a rabbi came to our church from Jerusalem? He said, I need to talk to you. I can't tell you the whole story, but I'll tell you enough for you to be happy. <laughs> he said, I need to ask you something. I want to be careful. I said, well, okay, can you ask me? Well, we're, we're, we're in the service and it was loud. He said, can we go in the back room? He's a rabbi. Rabbis don't go in the back room with women. Listen carefully. If he comes here, they don't shake your hand. Don't try to, women don't shake their hands. They only shake hands with men. It's the law that they have. So we go in the back room and he says, I'm going to ask you something. He said, I think I know the answer, but I want you to tell me. I said, I know what you want to hear. He said, you're different. He's a spirit-filled rabbi. He's spirit-filled. Oh, yeah. He prophesies over people like turning the light on. I love him. You'd love to be. He shimmying is his name. Shimmying. He called me two days ago from Jerusalem. Come on. That's favor of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. But I told him what he wanted to know. I said, this is what you're asking me. He said, I knew it. I knew it. It was just a revelation on something. It's very Jewish. But I've been living in it, walking in it, speaking in it. And he said, you are different. And he started to tell me how I was different from other people. Because I believed on something and I practiced it. And I walked in it. Right. You can't just eat part of the Bible. You got to take it off. Come on, you have to take it off. Yeah. I mean, you just can't throw away the Old Testament and come into the new. Right. The new is in the old, and the old is in the new. Yeah. And and so the, the the message from Lou Ingalls and some other brother recently is this: Israel and the church is like Ruth and Naomi. Right. Yeah. Wherever thou goest, I will go. Wherever thou lodgest, I will go. You get a vision for Israel. Include her in your prayer. Bless her. Yeah, yeah. Sanction her in your life. Pray for her every day. Love those people. The Bible says they shall prosper. They, love her. they shall prosper. They, love her. they shall prosper. When a little girl, I began to. My father always preached. He would, whenever he would start to preach, somehow he always started out with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So he preached about Abraham going to another land till I felt like I was a part of Abraham's family. You understand? I felt like I was a part of these people. Even when Hagar was out in the desert, remember, with her son? They were going to go there and die. I cried for them. I was just a little girl. And I cried and cried for Hagar. I didn't understand it all. I'd read it. And I cried for those people. God said, the angel said to Hagar, I'm going to bless your people. I'm going to make them a people of 20 nations. God loves everybody. And if you'll just, Richard, just, there's something in that move. How many felt that glory come in long ago? Just play that a little bit again. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, how we love you, Lord. How we thank you for putting us in our hearts. God said to go deeper. God, we thank you for you. You said you'd be a, a son and a shield to her. That's right. God, we thank you. That's right. Thank you.
your eyes guiding her. And even as anybody here would lead me out tonight, he was talking about how these people have helped Israel for four years. He said Israel's been helping herself for 4,000 years. She's been calling on her God. Start singing in the minors. Just sing. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you, Lord, to your people, to your land. Lord, to all everything, Lord, all the artifacts. <laughs> all the cities that are being raised from generations. Her fields have produced the fruit of the land. Her orchards have feed many nations. Her Jordan has Flows, her baptisms have taken place. How many of you have not been to Israel? Listen, it's, it's all the countries even around her. They have the flavor of Israel on her. They have the flavor of Israel. They're part of her. And when you go there, it's, a, it's like another world when you're riding in the car. I've been all up in the Golden Heights. And, and the lions have rented a car and have just scaled all the mountaintops there. Believe in God to cover her, protect her, hide her, strengthen her, watch over her. Oh, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That you said you'd have a people, the only people there are that you give their name and their land. The only ones that you honored with your name in their city. Because of your promise to Abraham. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. I will take my place in Israel. Take my place in Israel. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For her highways, her byways, her canals. Rivers. Oh God, for our olive trees. You carved that whole country out. God, according to your liking and your desire. And you made everybody that went there fall in love with her. And to be jealous of her. Thank you, Jesus. I said, Lord, if you ever use me, would you give me a musician that can play like Rachel? 
Richard's the best you're going to get. Before Richard, I had one other musician. Her name was Michelle. She played for me for... She came to me when she was 14. And she went full-time with me when she was 19. She was good. And she had to go home. Her father was sick. And I was invited to speak at a one-night service and Richard was playing. And she had to go home that day, Michelle did. And I called this girl up because I remember she was knew Richard. I said, you know that guy, that guy that was playing? What's his name? She said, Richard. I said, do you know where he is? She said, yes. I said, well, you call him and ask him if he would play for me. I'll pay him. How many years ago has that been? Um, every time. 20. Wow. I think it's been better. We weren't here, and we've been here 10 years. Rick, well, Rex and Bernie was for a little while. But I needed, I needed somebody that could flow. You gotta be able to flow today. That's right. Are you listening to me? Yeah. You can't have these songs that you gotta, you gotta have the certain rhythm and the certain beat and the certain. I mean, if it doesn't come from the heavens. Amen. It doesn't have the rhythms of That's the heavens. Right. The rhythm. yeah. this is right. The timing of heaven in it. That's right. You understand? There's a lot of songs, but they all don't have the timing of heaven in them. That's where God right. is doing something in that song. Amen. So it's it's probably we've been ten years here, and then we were over a little while at, on cactus. So you've been blessed. I've been blessed. I've been blessed. Beautiful. Do you want the Do rivers? People? Want the river sound? Do what? I just wanted to let the people. Do you know how easy it is for Sister Ruth to say the right words? For us that have talked with Jesus, and Jesus has talked with us, do you notice how Jesus always says the right words? I love this. Come on. But when that anointing comes, we always speak the right words. Yeah. And that's what I really like, love about Sister Ruth. She always says the right words. Do you agree? Amen. I do. I do. Praise God. Yeah. That's true. She knows the voice of the Holy Spirit. I can't wait to get to heaven and have music all the time. I love that. You're going to hear sounds oh, in heaven like a singing river. Yes. Singing yes. river. Yes. Flowing in and out and through you. Sounds you have never heard. Amen. Oh my. Amen. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? How beautiful. <coughs> How Can we close? Can we close with our Father who art in heaven? Yes. The Lord's yes. prayer. Yes. Go ahead. I'll let you give us a little encore.